Hi Libra, welcome to your January monthly reading. This is for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Libra for January 2018. This is going to be a really good year for a lot of us, a lot, a lot of us. I would like to thank all of you uh, for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. And to those of you who have made donations and made purchases, I absolutely enjoy doing this for you. So what we're going to do here today is look at the past, the present, and the future. Also, I wanna point out to make sure you check out your moon and rising signs. Sometimes they resonate a little bit better than your actual sun sign does. And what I like to do is to take all of them and what is applicable for me in my life and uh, put it together and that gives me a really good idea of what I can expect for that time frame. Okay, so Libras. We have the Seven of Swords, the King of Cups, Two of Cups, and Knight of Cups. So this is the end of January, kind of like the week that we're in right now, leading into the first week of, of January. I think I said January. It's the end of December, leading into the first week of January. Uh, first and the second, and the second, the third, and the fourth on the bottom row. So, some of you are working in an environment that there is some trickery going on in the background. You may be aware of it because the clarifying card is the Eight of Swords, which means you're anxious, you're nervous, you're worried, okay? So you may be aware of it, and I'm hoping it's not you that's doing it, but it could be. But there's something going on in the work environment, and I get, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing somebody stealing something, okay? Uh, maybe they're stealing cash. They're, they're taking things that they shouldn't be taking. They're doing things they should not be doing and in a corruptive uh, manner. You may be aware of it because the reason I'm saying that is there is an offer. There's actually two offers that are going to come through for you. So if you're already looking for a job and sending your uh, resume out or even interviewing, you may be interviewing because I do see an interview here as well. The offer coming in is to create a new partnership either with somebody to start your own business or it could be with another company, okay? But it's, it's combining forces to uh, for work and you know you have if you stay where you're at if this is resonating with you you're going to feel at a loss you may be involved in it without even knowing it maybe you're going to be set up something's going to take place in your work environment that is not a good thing and it is going to make you want to leave it's going to actually make you feel <sighs> sad, depressed, um, I, I don't want anything to do with this anymore, and you're going to move forward, okay? And that's a good thing. You're going to look for a new environment so that you can have a steady foundation in your work, all right? A steady, stable foundation. We have the Tower card, the Six of Swords, the Four of Wands, and the Chariot. Now, the clarifying card is the Five of Pentacles, feeling left out, feeling abandoned, feeling left out in the cold. Um, so what I'm actually seeing, though, is, is somebody is doing this um, manipulative, uh, trickery, deceitful things in the background, and your name is popping up, okay? Whoever this is meant for, you'll know if this resonates with you. Um, the tower is going to take effect in the work environment. It's not necessarily going to take effect in your world because you are aware of what's going on, so you're already in motion to take action to move away from it, all right? The Six of Swords is moving away from it. We're, we're gonna head on out. We're going to create a new foundation. You have the Four of Wands here. The Chariot is spiritually being 
pushed to move into victory, okay? Which is probably why the tower is happening, so that you can get out of this environment. And when you do this, you're gonna have a choice about where you work. And like I said, you do have two offers coming through up here. Um, you're going to have a choice. There's another one also, there's three that I'm seeing. There's two here, but there's three that I see. And this is gonna be a really wonderful opportunity for you. And you are being guided to move. It's almost like the universe says, okay, it's time for you to get out of that work environment. If you're not gonna make the effort here, we're gonna, we're gonna push you into it, which is what is taking place through the cards. And I actually kind of see that as well. So you're leaving a toxic environment. You know, the devil is here. And the devil can, yes, it can represent, it's, it's all about toxicity, okay? It can be addictions. But it can also be being stuck and trapped in the negative thoughts. It can also feel as though you are stuck and bound where you're at, but you're not, okay? You are not. You actually have the universe. The divine is helping you to get out of this situation. So if this is resonating with you, please check that out. We have the clarifying card as the Hierophant change change is going to take place and it's a final call to take action so if you do not do this you will be involved okay just by working there um you have the magician next to the devil and in tarot that that's like a lot of manipulation going on <clears throat> it's really a toxic environment you're really being guided to leave this situation. Now, for others of you, what I'm hearing is there is a situation where you're dealing with an authority figure. Now, this is this can be in friends or family, okay? It is a love, but it's friends or family. It's not romance. And they're coming to you because they want to start a project with you some kind of a project now this could be you know an invested an investment project something along that line something they want to do with you it may be actually building houses okay um co-oping to build a subdivision or just build one house like a demo house uh yeah again you really watch out for whoever you're dealing with they are a little bit more advanced in knowing how to manipulate how to do the entire uh, plan that they have presented to you so watch your back with this particular person because i'm getting that it, it could be a very explosive um, bordering volatile situation with them like they're doing the the uh, manipulation in the background and it is somebody you know again it's a family member or a friend it is somebody that you do love now when it comes to romance you guys have been dealing with somebody and it it, it could be your soulmate okay we do have the soulmate card here <laughs> and we have we have the lover's card and when those two cards come out together typically that's a twin flame so it's a it's a bit more intense than a regular soulmate type situation where what each of you have half of the soul so this is a, a it's like a higher level of a connection that is unbelievable now you may have been dealing with this your partner and you're not together right now they hurt you in the in in the past they may have um they may have tricked you they deceived you somehow there was deceit there and the two of you are not together right now and what i'm being told to tell you is they are actually going to return and this is going to be your last opportunity to actually look at the two of you coming together and having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation and seeing if you can actually make the relationship work I'll pull the card, uh, romance cards to see how they tie in with the reading as well. But you're being guided to move forward. When they come back, it's going to stir your world. It's like you haven't spoke with them in a very long time. I'm seeing eight. I'm seeing eight. 
So it's not eight weeks. We're looking at eight, eight months, seven to eight months. Um, it's going to throw you out of balance a bit. It's going to kind of, you know, we do have the tower here, which means a change in a belief system. Okay. It doesn't mean that you're going to lose everything going to flip upside down. It means something is altering in your life. And sometimes that altering can be for something that is so much better than what you have and normally it is always better than what you have it doesn't feel like it at the moment but they're going to come in and kind of throw you off balance and it is going to kind of jolt you honestly oops only one um it's going to jolt you but you're actually being guided and you're going to do this you're going to move forward they see you now they know who you are. They know you're their soulmate, their twin flame, their other half. They actually recognize who you are, which is huge, huge. You guys have been doing this for quite some time and um, they're coming forward and they're going, they're picking you. There may have been another person involved, which might be why the, that trickery, you know, deceit was there, but they want to give you an offer to move forward together and to actually start a new beginning with you. And they want it on a, it's kind of like it's going to be fast, but it's going to be slow at the same time. We have retreat. So when they contact you, um, they may be asking you to go and, and honeymoon. So some of you may be getting engaged, but Really what I'm hearing and seeing is you're going on, they want you to go on a trip with them. Maybe the two of you had planned to go on a trip and everything exploded and you didn't get to go. So they're coming back with an offer, an apology as well, and they wanna take you on the trip. And you're being guided to know that it is safe to love because within five minutes of a, of a conversation, you will know if this person has actually grown because what I'm seeing is you have grown. You are more in alignment with your, your soul, is in alignment with your external person. So what we see of you is the real you. There isn't all these different masks we put on when we go into different settings in life. It's really you. So you've really done the work, you've done the healing, you've, you've really moved forward in your life. And you're being guided to move forward with this person, to listen to them, just to open up. They've grown into the King of Cups and they've matured emotionally. Now they know how they are open and know how to give and receive love on an equal uh, level. There was a lot of toxicity involved in this relationship before, but again, five minutes with this person and you will understand what I'm talking about. Now there is another group of you that I see where you have two new loves that may show up in your life. Um, one of them may be your soulmate, okay? But you do have an opportunity and one could it actually turn into the twin flame, be your life partner or the twin flame because they are different. Um, one of them is a little bit toxic, so keep an eye out for it. They may drink too much. They may like to go out and party a lot. I'm seeing you guys like dancing and drinking, okay? So one of them, although they do know how to love, they also have toxicity in their environment. The other one may be the one that you might want to look at a little closer because that could be your soulmate. So I do hope this helps you and I wish you to have a wonderful month of January. Much love.